Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my Mini Madness Project Pan update. So I have four empties from last time, since last time, and uh, I have four more things to introduce. So first off, I literally finished this today, it's both in my crease and as a bronzer. This is the Balms Take Home the Bronze Bronzer and Oliver. I actually depotted this into my e.l.f. palette. So that up there is an empty pan again, which is super cool. So that is the third bronzer slash contour I have finished this year. I mean, little bitty mini. And the other, one of the, con the contour that I finished was mostly done at the beginning of the year, but still, hey, that's three bronzers out in my collection. So, yeah. Uh, next, I do have the Stila Glitter and Glow in Retro Rose Gold. Uh, I, you, I can't quite clean this out. I did try though. <laughs> um, I've, I, I actually a couple of times put in a drop or two of my Inglot Duraline and that helped revive it really, really well. I figured that, um, who is it, uh, Beauty News tried that on dried out ColourPop shadows and it revived them pretty darn well. Like just like a drop or two. So I figured a drop of this would probably revive it enough for me to use it a couple more times and it did. So if you have these and they're drying out on you and you want to get some more uses out of them, it, if you have Duraline, use it. And Duraline is relatively cheap. I think it's like 11 bucks for this whole bottle and you use like a drop or two at a time. Like you, you don't need to use a lot so it'll last you forever. Anyways, this is not a commercial for Inglot's Duraline. <laughs> anyway, next is my Marcel eyeliner. This is it. I can't sharpen it anymore, so it is done. I do really love this, this line of eyeliners, honestly. They make some really pretty colors. This one is in, I looked it up from my Instagram. I think it's the shade Mulberry. Really pretty deep blue color, but still shows up as blue. So very happy to have finished that because it was pretty old. So I'm glad I was able to finish it without it ever like going dry or anything like that. And finally, I have the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Scrub that is empty. Like no more comes out. So uh, let me get to the other products. I have, if I had waited to film this like a couple more days, I probably would have finished this, but I wanted to get this up tonight. I have the Verb Sea Salt Spray, and here are my marks. Come on, focus, sweetie. I mean, you literally give it nothing else to focus on, and it still focuses not on what you want it to. But uh, last month, I was here, and now I am all the way down to here. Like, there's barely any left, but I didn't want to put off the update to try to finish another product, so it's fine. Next is my Everlasting IGK Texture Spray. Uh, last month it weighed 79.1 grams. This month it weighs 71.3 grams. So I only use this like a couple of times a month because that's the only times that I remember it. I would really like to finish this by the end of the year just because I've been working on it for like five months. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. I actually really like it, but my hair is getting a little on the long side for texture sprays to do a whole lot. Like when my hair was super short and all those, you know, layers in it, it did a lot more. But now it's just kind of performing a similar thing to like dry shampoo in that it's giving my roots a lot of volume. So <sighs> I need to use it up. Honestly, I need to cut my hair too. <laughs> Get a little bit more shape into it because the layers are looking all wrong currently because, well, they're grown out. Let's see, next I have my Dollar Shave Club Wanderer, Wanderer Hydrating Citrus Hawaiian Ginger Daily Face Cleanser. So last month I was like here, it was basically new and now I'm about down to here. So I think that'll last about another month. Whew. Uh, next is the Apto Turmeric Toner. I actually had to decant it because it was in such a shitty spray bottle. And then I remembered that I had this, which I specifically saved two decant like toners into. This is an, a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Turner bottle, which is like the best, one of the better bottles I've come across. So I told myself I'd save it and use it. So yeah, I have a little bit left down here and that's it. So this will be done by the end of the month too. But like I said, I didn't want to wait 
to do this update. So we're definitely going to have a couple of things to roll in next month. Whew, uh, I got I got my Sephora cream lip stain. Uh, this is the third day that I've worn this this month, but I've I've applied it six times in total. You know, like from reapplying during the day and whatnot. And I've heard from people that you only really have about 12 to 15 applications in these little things. So I am a little, probably a little under halfway done with this. Just guessing. Yeah, I actually kept up with the amount of times I reapplied it just to be able to tell you something about it. So, you know, it still looks basically the same. Like it still pulls out plenty of product and everything. So maybe next... I'm hoping to finish it around the end of next month, but if nothing else, hopefully we'll at least see some like real progress about how much it's not pulling out anymore or something like that. I don't know. And finally, before I get into new products, I have this. I only used this once, but I'll, I'll try to use it more next month at least, but it is the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Face Primer, the mattifying version. I do like this, I found out, and I have done a little mini of it, so it's good that I like it, but uh, once again, it doesn't want to focus. Freaking camera, I am literally giving you nothing else to focus on and you still won't focus. I don't know what's going on tonight, sorry about that, but uh, I mean, I literally used it one time. There's only like a little bit of progress. Stupid camera. And now for my four things that I am rolling in. So first off, I have what is, I think, I know this is also like a toner, but I'm using it to like take down the powderiness of my face makeup. So I'm counting it as a makeup item. This is the Air Repair Complexion Quenching Facial Mist. It has glycerin in it, so that's why I'm using it like that. Because that's like the magical ingredient in like MAC Fix Plus and products like that. I'm just too lazy to make such a product. But the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist is actually a really good dupe for MAC Fix Plus, in case you were curious, and is cruelty free and a lot cheaper. Anyways, but uh, this little bitty, I'm starting like right here, so really don't have much to that. <sighs> um, um, um. Next, I threw out a gloss because I have this little bitty gloss lying around and I kind of just want to get it used up and out of my life. This is the U. U this is the Urban Decay, I'm trying to say UD, but it, that's not the brand's name. The Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Gloss in SPL. It is full. I don't know why I'm trying to show it to you. My camera's not cooperating tonight. It's full. I've never used it, but I'm pretty sure I can get something like that done in a month. Uh, next is the My, My, My Shell or My Chell Derma... Dermaceuticals Refining Sugar Cleanser. I've been, I started using this as a face scrub once I finished the, uh, what's it called? The Dr. Brand. And this has been really nice. It is in a tub, which I don't love, but otherwise I've been really enjoying it. It smells kind of like brown sugar. Like it smells really good and it does kind of Along with scrubbing a little bit, it does kind of foam up into a cleanser too. So it's it's been really nice. And finally, I have the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. So we are starting right here. I've already used it a few times. Hopefully I can use that up in the next month. If not, I can definitely use it up by the end of December. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.